Our Mercury 310 controller is up and running. We're operating with the 912 Titan linear actuator. And again, we've already talked about it a couple of times. There's no peripheral devices connected. It's completely operational. It's UL325 compliant. But adding external entrapment devices, uh, monitored entrapment sensors is a really good idea. Um, safety is paramount. I, I can't stress that enough. Uh, you really need to protect people, especially people that aren't familiar with the gate and how it operates, and that, especially if you have your gate closing automatically. You really need to have a photo eye or something there. So if somebody's in the path of the gate, the gate doesn't close on them. So let's talk about different entrapment devices that we can hook up. Okay. So we have loop inputs, which we could also hook up a non-monitored photo eye to, uh, for example, our obstruction input here and, and reverse the gate. But I would rather use monitored devices. And so we've got some monitored inputs here in the area we call sensors. And here we can hook up either a blue bus devices, up to six of them to the blue bus input, or an opening or a, and or a closing device. Now the opening and closing devices can be either 10K resistive output, and the board will automatically detect what type of devices those are. So let's start with the blue bus devices. So this is our um, nice EPMB slash A through beam blue bus photo eyes. They are through beam. One's a transmitter, one's a receiver, and you have to wire to both parts. Um, they're very easy to wire. They're very easy to align. Uh, they're probably one of the, or the most reliable photo eye I've ever used. And on this gate, I have a set already installed. And these are the wires from those photo eyes right here. And so I'm just going to plug those in on the left-hand side of the board here where it says blue bus. Now, even if I wake the board up, it doesn't know those devices are there yet. I have to tell it that the blue bus devices are there. And the way I do that is I just simply press and hold the stop clear button for five seconds till the lights come on on the left-hand side of the board, my sensor lights. When my sensor lights come on, I release. Now it's going to relearn the blue bus and sensor inputs. It's flashing BB, and boom, it has now detected my blue bus photo eyes connected to the blue bus input. I'm opening the gate. Of course, if I break my photo beams, nothing's going to happen because they're set up for protection on the closing cycle. <laughs> Pardon me. So if I close the gate, reach across here, break the photo beam, gate reopens. Blue bus devices are hooked up, ready to go. I can actually hook up to six sets of blue bus photo eyes to this input. So I can have closing devices, opening devices. Um, it, it doesn't matter. I, I've got six different settings on those photo eyes that I can hook those all up to this one set of inputs here, relearn the, the monitored entrapment inputs, and those, that device or those devices would be operational. So let's talk about a 10K resistive device. So this is a 10K resistive edge. This is just a short sample edge that I have. And I've got it wired in to my next connector here between open and common. And so again, the board doesn't know that I've even connected anything there yet. So the way it determines that this device is here is once again, we press and hold our stop clear button till the lights on the left-hand side of the board come on. When they come on, release. Now it's gonna rescan all these inputs under the sensor area. And now you can see that whenever I press my edge, that open light comes on each time I press my edge. So now if the gate's opening, gate's coming open, we see that it's counting, it's increasing as it's coming open. I hit my edge, now it's reclosing. Let's say you want to use a reflective photo eye, an EMX NIR 325. Um, the same thing goes. We could have simply gotten power for that photo eye at the switch 12 volt power because that way we can turn that photo eye off when the board goes into standby, ground it at the common, and then the common and, and 10K output, we can connect our 10K output to either the closing input or the opening input, depending on which direction we want it to monitor or, or to protect. And it's that easy. So edges, blue bus devices, reflected photo eyes, they're all gonna connect right here. Again, under our sensor inputs, we have got blue bus inputs for blue bus devices or open and close inputs for 10K. Or And once you connect your device, 
Hold the stop clear button for five seconds till these lights come on. It'll rescan or relearn the blue bus, and then those devices will be operational. It's that easy to connect monitored entrapment devices to this board. While not required, it's that easy to hook them up if you want to.